Oh, okay. Oh, is your chick bigger than I work in TV. <laughs> Those are all 20s, it looks like. It's spread it out so you can see everything. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do here. Help me over. Knock it over. There's those nasty ones, but not as many as you. They're more. It's all the ones there is. That's the I think they're in the real as far as the rest of like 20s and maybe some 50s and 50s. There is some 50s there. Yeah. All right. Some Pruitts. Oh, there's, there's the hundreds too. Oh, oh, you. Oh, there's more ones. Yep. Zero. They smell. Eight Briarwood. They smell. Here's the other items that were seized. Uh, on the stop as well. She had a bag of marijuana, and at the time, marijuana was illegal. Yeah. And he smelt marijuana inside the vehicle. We made a traffic stop for uh, lane violations, and he smelt the marijuana. Thank you very much. You have a good day. Proceeded with a search. Found yes. a bag in the back passenger side. He asked what was in it, and she says, I don't know. It's a present from my boyfriend's boss to him. That's a good story. Vice versa. That's a good story, especially and, uh, in the watch box. Yeah. He asked for her consent to look inside, and she said no, and then he goes, well, I'm gonna seize it. And then finally she said, go I ahead. Pay my taxes. And he found all the currency. Um, we found uh, two cell phones as well. Yes, she had all the clear indications, as far as I'm concerned, that she was a yes. runner, Yeah. okay? She had a 2016 vehicle, okay. and this was in 2017. 17, and the vehicle had 50,000 miles on it. That's a lot of traveling for a little over a year old vehicle. She was from Colorado? She was from Colorado, said she was coming back from Tennessee. And finally, she told us that she knew the money was there and that she was being paid a little bit to bring it back from Tennessee. So. If she told us correctly that she was in Tennessee, then she probably maybe took drugs down there. We just don't know it. Yeah. So you said the money's going to the school districts? Yes. yes. Per the court order, I'm to turn the money over to the Warren County Treasurer, who will then divvy it up among the school districts within Warren County. Okay. He's told me that there's six school districts, so he'll divvy it up among six school districts. Okay. I, as an agency, had a choice to either go federal or go state, but I didn't have nobody assigned to the task force, so okay. the city would not have benefited on the forfeiture. So I chose to send the case to Warren County, mm -hmm. and they filed the charges, knowing that the money would go to the schools. I could have still went federal, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. I kept it in the county, so the school districts, <laughs> if his office won the forfeiture, yeah. which they did, the school district will benefit. Okay. 